Hey, 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 what is up, everybody? Welcome back to Girl G Channel. Thank you for tuning in. We got an episode of Daily Squeeze today talking about all the juicy stuff that's been going on the internet, okay? Because it has been a lot. We got Kylie, we got Faith Evans. Man, we got Nene I had to talk about because I didn't get to talk about that helpful uh, last week with everything that was going on. I'm trying to get, you know, my energy back up. That's why I'm coming to you guys with this episode of Daily Squeeze to talk about everything, you know, that has just been taking over the internet you know even with all the negative stuff that has been going on that's why i'm trying to just you know kind of get my pep up because past couple of days y'all oh, i was out of there i was mentally checked out my psyche was all effed up i'm sure a lot of you guys have been experiencing the same thing because you know everything that's been going on in the world everybody's setting shit ablaze as they rightfully should because george floyd that situation was just unnecessary and that's why i couldn't give you guys the real housewives of beverly hills you know, review because I just was not in the mental capacity to sit there and talk about a bunch of bougie, rich white bitches who are never going to experience that type of pain of losing your a, a family member, a son, a brother to police brutality. Like, I just couldn't do it. Like, their world and the world that we live in, two totally different things. And I didn't want to talk about them hoes. I just did it, okay? So, but nonetheless, you know, I just want to say I appreciate you guys. Y'all stay tuning in to your girl. I love down in the comments. I definitely see it. Um, if you're new to your girl's channel, before you go, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that bell so you are notified every time your girl uploads something, all right? Okay, you guys, so let's try to get the pep up, try to get the mood up and talk about everything. Let's go ahead and knock this old rich white bitch out of the way, Kylie Jenner. Oh my God, y'all, that family, I tell you. Kardashian Jenner clan, they are something serious. But nonetheless, let's talk about what this bitch did. She, um, she lied. Is is that a surprise? Nah. Because she was lying about her lips for two years. Like, we was sitting there dumb looking at her. She went from got dang Pringles lips to all of a sudden she was Jay-Z. Bitch, we knew you got your lips done. Who you trying to convince that you was just out over lining your lips? Girl, you thought we was boo-boo the fool. But besides that, she was on Forbes. If y'all don't remember, she was, you know, the Forbes self-made self billionaire a uh, cover that she got uh, apparently it's all a hoax it is all lies fairy tales and fallacies okay the lies you tell um so basically Forbes came out with the fact that they went through their evidence that the Kardashians sent in aka Kris Jenner and apparently it's all false they feel like they falsified you know tax returns they added to um you know the information about how much Kylie was possibly selling when it came to her lip kits for me, honestly, when that stuff happened anyways, when she started selling those lip kits, I'm like, this girl became a multi-millionaire selling lip kits for lips that ain't even hers. Where you hear that? Where, where they do that at? This bitch's lips is fake and she made multi-million dollar, a whole bunch of millions over lips that ain't hers. That'd be like a blind person selling reading glasses. Like, <laughs> where, when, why? How does that make sense? So... Um, so basically Forbes came out that, you know, Kris Jenner had everybody come over to their mansion or whatever. And she presented whatever, you know, evidence they had tax returns, you know, proof of profit for, you know, the Kylie Jenner lip kits. And even they were acquired by Cody, which is a huge, you know, makeup industry, you know, business and stuff like that. And even Cody feels like they purchased Kylie Jenner's company for way more than it's actually worth. Now, it just came out that possibly Kylie Jenner's profits were all lied and skewed. They said it was way more than what it actually was. It's actually on a decline, the purchases that were happening with Kylie Jenner's lip kits. But I don't know how, you know, Kris Jenner was able to fugazi her way into Forbes' list. It's not that, you know, Kylie don't have the money, but she ain't no billionaire. And on top of that, she isn't no self-made billionaire. Bitch, miss me with that. Okay, self-made. Self-made. We really gonna do that? And I'm not gonna take away the fact that you are a businesswoman, but I'm not gonna sit there and give you a credit that you do not deserve, which is self-made, bitch. You are not, I just, no, 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 okay? But now Forbes is trying to recorrect themselves, basically, and say that, you know, they went through all the evidence and, you know, they're realizing that she possibly gave us a whole bunch of falsified documents and records and her signatures on, you know, the tax returns and a whole bunch of stuff. Now... Forbes, your hands ain't cleaning this either because if you really think about it, where was y'all's, you know, first, second, and third line of defense of checking all the information that they gave y'all? So one, for me, y'all didn't check it all the way through. Two, 
Y'all didn't really want to check all the way through because at the end of the day, y'all knew putting Kylie on the cover of y'all's magazine was going to sell. Point blank period. Y'all knew if y'all had Kylie Jenner on the cover of y'all's magazine because of the following that that family has, that the shit was going to sell. So you ain't cleaning this either. Yeah, they lied about, you know, being a billionaire, but we knew what all the heifers do is lie. Okay, that's all they do is lie, cheat still to get their millions. And it's not nothing new, but the fact that y'all are just not catching it is making me feel like there's something else bubbling, you know, behind the scenes of why all of a sudden Forbes going to come out and blast Kylie for fake information and falsifying, oh, she a billionaire and stuff like that. Like, what's going on at Forbes? For the fact that they trying to recorrect they self. Okay. Don't let them fool y'all. Something else going on behind the scenes. But it's just making me laugh. The fact that y'all trying to sit there. And you know. Finally put out there that. They lied to y'all. And then apparently Kris Jenner. Has a portion. Because we all know she's their manager. Gets 10% of what they have. And Kris apparently had acquired. When she gave away. Or you know. Sold Kylie Jenner to Cody. There's like a portion that is automatically like, I think she got like 60 million or something like that. That's in an offshore, you know, account just for Kris Jenner. I think it was like KMJ Enterprises or something like that. That automatically gets $60 million. So at the end of the day, Kris is a P-I-M-P. Okay. She is a pimp. She pimp her daughters out and she go out there, send them on the streets. You know, they go get the coin and she gets her percentage. Okay. That's how that works. I can't. I came with that family. I really can. I really was only just tuning into them because I'm a fan of Chloe. But even after the stuff that Chloe and what she's been doing with Tristan and that whole situation, I'm even starting to look at Chloe's side eye now, especially after that picture she just put out when she was a whole different ass human being. Whose head was that and whose neck was that is the question. Lies you tell. All right, y'all. So let's move on to the next topic. Good old Shekinah Joe. If y'all haven't heard people are dragging her on the internet because they feel like she is super insensitive she's not reading the room as people like to say she is sitting on her ig live talking about gucci ain't did nothing to y'all them people's stories they did nothing to y'all they got their uh loot ice house and they got a family and stuff like that i get what you're trying to say shikana i understand you are trying to say you know riding looting is not going to be the answer but you gotta understand people are mad we are, it's not mad, we are mad, M-A-D-T, apostrophe, mad. So, I get it. And then Tory Lanez had to check her, he got her on IG Live and basically was like, you sitting here, you know, criticizing them, but what are you doing? Are you out there on the front lines? Are you out there doing what you can? You know, or did you even witness how the looting even started? You can't be out there, you know, trying to judge them for doing all this stuff. And you're forgetting the why people are doing this stuff. And Shekana, you know, people kind of checked you for it. And I understand what you were trying to say, sis. But it just wasn't the time. It just was not the time to do this. And, you know, it is this big debate of like, oh my gosh, why are people setting shit on fire? That's not going to do nothing. You're not helping nothing by setting your own place of business or your own town, you know, aflame. But you got to, do you... I want you to think about this. Do you understand how mad you got to be to fuck up your own city? The city that you go shopping in? You understand how infuriating you have to be on the inside to mess up your own town where you live? Like, that's a serious pain and hurt somebody has to be feeling. Now, as Shekinah, as I get what you were trying to say, I understand the point you were trying to make. But at the end of the day, this stuff low-key ain't even... The protesters, it's people out there who are taking advantage of the moment and it's only getting, you know, put on us because that's how they want it to look. They got those secret supremacists out there and undercover cops out there setting shit on fire. We got proof of that. So I'm not going to put all that madness on the protesters, people who are trying to do it the right way. But you, there are people out there who are taking advantage of the situation, but I also understand there are people out there who are just angry as well and they need an outlet because we've been holding this shit in for a long time it's like a volcano it's just erupting erupting and finally it's going to explode and right now it is hellfire scorch on earth at this moment now shakana i'm gonna forgive you for this little blimp right here but i'm gonna need you to do better sis that's all i can say do better read the room next time okay you sitting there crying with them big old chip bun cheeks it was not looking good looking like a big old glazed donut i can't Anyways, let me move on. So let's move on to uh speaking of cheeks. Well, them fillers she got. 
Let's talk about Miss Nene Leaks. So Nene Leaks, y'all, is coming out that she been out there having her extramarital affairs. And I think his name um, is Rodney White, actually, Mr. Rodney. You know, Rodney's ain't never no good anyways. You cannot trust a Rodney as far as you can throw him. But nonetheless, we all know Nene has somewhat explained that she's in an open relationship. She did, but she didn't. We knew she wasn't fucking Greg. His old ass thing. He can, the Viagra ain't even gonna help him no more. Like Greg ain't throwing that bike out like Nene needs it to be. Cause that's a big bitch. Like she needs somebody, you know, smack it up, flip it, rub it down type stuff. And Greg certainly ain't doing that cause he gonna pop a hip socket. But nonetheless, you know, she has been apparently moving around town with this man, Mr. Rodney White. They've been seen canoodling, making out a little bit. But he's been a family friend for for some time now. He's actually known Nene since before the fame. Now the messy part was the people who know Rodney low key shaded the shaded the dog fuck out of Nene because they were like, oh Rodney, he's just in it for the fame. He loves the limelight. He was posting pictures about him. Uh, he posted a picture at Watch What Happens Live the same day that Nene was there. Like he didn't, they weren't in it together, but he definitely was trying to put the location down there to, you know, try and put some connection. And then they were like, yeah, you know, he didn't want to mess with Nene back then, you know, when she didn't have nothing and he wasn't messing with Nene, you know, before she had all the surgeries. I said, oh, why y'all throwing the surgeries in there? That ain't got nothing to do with that. Her throwing that puss at that man ain't got nothing to do with the multiple surgeries that she had. They were just so messy for throwing that in there. But the thing is, I want to know, do Greg know? Is Greg aware of all these extracurricular activities that Nene is doing? I think they kind of got one of those marriages where it's like a don't ask, don't tell situation. He going to go out there and fuck whoever you want to fuck, aka the assistant of Nene's camp. And she going to go out there and mess with this director of ag agriculture sales or whatever the hell he do. But a Rodney, Nene, a Rodney, he ain't no good, bitch. No good. Not a Rodney. Um, what is Nene going to do next is the question is... Is this going to be an opening for her to become public with him? Who knows? Now that people know about him, um, Greg or Nene hasn't made a statement, but it's real funny that Kenya actually came out and said that she been knowing about this man and that actually Marlo has seen him, Cynthia has seen him, and Eva has seen him, um, apparently. And if they've known about him, people have been knowing about him. It's just kind of like, bitch, we see you, but we're going to just look the other way. Like, we see you, but we're going to look the other way. And it's like, Nene, you have no room to no longer talk about people's marriages. You want to sit there, oh, I still got the ring. Me and Greg been married. We stay married. We've been married. I've been doing this thing for 20 years. Just because you legally are still married don't mean you got a marriage, bitch. Let's keep it real. Like, y'all sleeping in separate rooms. Y'all ain't been fucking. So, like... Are y'all really a married couple? Y'all are people in cohabitation at this moment. Bitch, miss me with that. So I don't know if Rodney's going to make any comments, if he's going to say anything or reveal it. Who knows? Or will they just finally just be like, fuck it and come out and be public and Nene going to be like, look, we got an open marriage. Greg doing his thing. I'm doing mine. But we still got home base. That's kind of what it is. Y'all drop down in the comments. Let me uh, know if you heard about Nene and this man. How y'all feel about uh, possibly Nene having an open marriage. And do she no longer have no room to talk about other people's relationships now that she's doing this? Who knows? But um, let's get on to the last topic, which is one of my favorites, Miss Faith Evans, y'all. I love Faith Evans. Her voice is amazing. Her music is good. But she's starting to get good. And that's what happens. That's the side effects of messing with these dog ass niggas like Stevie J. Okay, so if you haven't heard, Miss Faith Evans got arrested, booked, and handcuffed, and she got out on bonds. But all the information we have is Faith Evans was arrested because police showed up to their estate from the statement that was made. And it was very apparent that Stevie J had, you know, scratches, cuts, bruises or whatever, visible marks of, you know, Faith beating that ass. OK, now the question is, Stevie J, what did you do? Because Faith ain't just the type of woman to just start swinging on a nigga. She's not no Jocelyn Hernandez. She had to get pushed to a point that was almighty God to sit there and put her hands on you Stevie now we all knew Stevie was a dog and she the problem is you know women sometimes get a man and they it's the saying of you know man men get with what they see you know and what they have in front of them but women get with men because they see potential they stay with a man because of potential and I think Faith thought you know I'm gonna be the woman because I know I'm a good woman I'm, I'm gonna be the one to make him change 
And Faith is a good one. We know what type of woman she is. And you got with Stevie on the pure hope that he was going to change, keep his dick in his pants, not fuck around on you, which he did on your show. He went on the hot tub with that bitch and you broke up with him then. And he weaseled his way back into your pants and he convinced you that he was going to do better. And he did for a little bit. But the truth is, Faith, Stevie J is a dog. I cannot be a woman and watch how you treat other women who are the mother of your kids. And watch you do them dirty and not expect that same thing to come to me. Like, that is crazy and asinine. But for Faith to knock his ass out and give him some scratches, I really want to know what bitch was it. Is she going to come out and, you know, give her her, her little two-piece on what happened? Did she check his phone? And Stevie J was out there putting cryptic, you know, tweets talking about, oh, what all glitters ain't gold. And, you know, drunk people tell truths and you know, insecurities can ruin a relationship, a whole bunch of stuff. So he basically trying to put this on face saying that her paranoia and being insecure is what messed up their relationship. Now let's keep it a buck. I don't like this idea of, oh, she's just insecure. A woman can ask you questions and get up in your business and start asking you because she don't want to play the motherfucking games. That's why she's asking you questions because she know the type of nigga you are, Stevie. You ain't nothing but a hood-ass dog, nigga. You don't pay your child support. You be fucking over women left and right. And you had a good one and now you messed it up because you can't help your dog-ass ways. Stevie has always been the ball and chain of every relationship it's not a coincidence that every relationship you get in turns in toxic, Stevie. You are leaving a trail of broken black women and that's not cool, dude. You got daughters. That's not cool for you to keep doing this shit. And for you to sit there, oh, I'm the good guy. And do that stupid ass rat smile that you do. Like, miss me with that dog. Miss me. Do better. That's all I can say is do better. Faith, I hope you got a good ass lawyer. For Stevie J to even allow you to get arrested, even though he knew he did some dog ass shit, is a problem. And I can appreciate you, Faith, for finally getting him to pay Mimi uh, that motherfucking child support that you knew he was behind on. Because that's what Mimi even admitted on Love & Hip Hop. She like, man, I ain't got no problem with Faith because she finally got Stevie J to pay for his child, Eva. I mean, he's just a dog. Him, Future, uh, all the niggas who keep populating and not want to claim their child. Tristan, all of you black men angry ass, insecure, egotistical, narcissistic ass black men and y'all go around messing up these women's hearts and making them damaged as y'all want to say. Like that's all y'all's fault. Faith, I want you to run away ASAP. Get away from this nigga before you catch another case or before he brings something back to your ass because you know he dirty. That dick is dirty, okay? That dick is dirty. D-U-R-T-Y. That's all it is. But yeah, that's everything that's been happening. I'm trying to think of anything else popped off. Uh, we talked about Kylie, Faith, Shekinah, Nini. Yeah, I think that's it so far. But y'all drop down in the comments. Tell me what you thought about the topics we discussed today. How do you feel about Nini? How do you feel about Kylie being a fake billionaire? Um, and as far as uh, the situation with Faith, what do y'all think Stevie did? How, what do y'all think she caught him with? Y'all drop down in the comments. Let me know. This has been an episode of Daily Squeeze. I appreciate all you guys for tuning in. Don't forget before you go to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll catch all y'all hoes later. Deuces.